Hello, hello, another day in paradise. I'm in the car and I'm by myself. It's Sunday and since I started working a full-time job, um, I've, I'm you know, from home. Obviously I need to find ways to get out of the office, <laughs> so to speak because I'm basically just home all day and all night, all the time, except for uh, minor trips to the store. And I just, I needed uh, some time today to just get out of the house and go check some stuff out from a distance from other people. I am at the gas station. I just got gas and it's interesting because everyone's got an opinion about what's going on. And this guy is getting gas next to me, started talking to me because of my shirt, Elvira, and uh, asked something about Elvira at Scary Farm or something, or think he's come back. And I was like, yeah, probably not. And then he kind of went on this little tyrant about how things are getting blown out of proportion, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not really too interested and arguing with random people on the street. <laughs> I'm just more of a smile and nod kind of guy. Um, which is a, my approach. I like to do things to minimize shittiness in my life. I feel like if people want to have shitty opinions and live shitty lives, that's fine. I, I'm not on a crusade to stop that. Just do it the fuck away from me. That's pretty much all I want to happen. Um, I don't have time to go on a crusade to try to convince people to see things my way. Because, and, and other people that do, uh, time sounds like cocky. I don't have the desire. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> I'd rather spend my time doing things that make me happy. So other people may or may not think that. Oh, someone just rolled up next to me and it's really weird sitting there talking to yourself on a camera. I thought that I would have this time to myself and I don't. Anywho, um, just in case there's any uh, misconception or it's unclear where I stand on the state of navigating the world. Um, I'll just put this out there on, on official record. Um, I think that some people are unaware that there are some people that could die by getting this illness, disease, whatever the fuck you want to call it, because they have low immune systems. There's some people that are actually the opposite, other end of it. They're immune to it. And they could get it and not even realize they have it and then give it to somebody that has a weak immune system and they could die. Uh, that fact seems to elude a lot of people. It's mind blowing. You know, they could come in, they always have some other fucking bullshit to throw at you. You know, it's like, yeah, but that, that one, I, I, so let's just slow it down. Yeah, it sucks. People are suffering financially. Obviously people are sick or really suffering, but I mean, people are suffering financially. Jobs are being lost. You know, there's some assistance out there. The assistance is crappy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But just, um, you know, we're all getting stir crazy, all that stuff. So on my journey today, I will be going out. I'll be keeping my distance. I have, I have a mask, I have hand sanitizer, I have gloves. I'm going to hang out away from people and just see what I see. I was just thinking about it. I'm, I'm driving. I'm at, well, I'm at a red light. I'm not literally driving. Uh, it probably came a little hot <laughs> that last clip. Just got a little heated. That's what happens when I get out here in the world. I need to try.
try to stay calm, enjoy this uh, leisurely uh, drive around town. All right, it's been a little while since I last checked in, but I have uh, made it to Buena Park, California. <laughs> Obviously, I'm still in California. And um, <laughs> initially, I was like, oh, I want to go down to Buena Park. I want to check out um, just all the little touristy areas. Knott's Berry Farm is here, Pirates Adventure, Medieval Times, a few other fun stuff like that. Um, and I realized it was kind of hard for me to, first of all, I can't film and drive. And then uh, there's not really a place to pull over or anything like that. There's tons of people walking around. I don't know. But um, so I don't I'm probably just going to head home. <laughs> I'm going to have to rethink this kind of uh, vlogging. But either way, uh, there's a place, Portillo's. Port Portillo's. I, I don't know what it's called. Anyways. Um, it's a hot dog, hamburger kind of place. Good old American fair. Apparently it's really cool looking inside, but we can't go inside because they're closed, but they got the drive through going. I want to check that out. So I don't know if you can even hear me because the wind, but that's what I'm going to do. And also you might, as I, as I turn around, there's a lot of people just like, tailgating in this parking lot it's mostly a walmart uh some of them have left since i've been here but i've been here for a little while i was on a phone call um but very strange i guess anything to get out of the house social, i guess they're still social distancing <laughs> good way to see some people maybe they, what they probably did was get food from this place and hung out there uh, it's nice to get some fresh air I guess you can go inside. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I will do that. No, I'm gonna do the drive through I'm gonna play it safe. I know we're itching to see new things. I'm gonna play it safe, check out the drive through And uh, yeah, that's life. I already took my order from a person that wearing a mask. I was of course wearing a mask and paid, they had a little portable thing. I gave them my card. Even though we didn't actually touch hands, I still uh, hand sanitized <laughs> immediately afterwards. And now just waiting in the drive-thru. Now I'm a little distance from home. So, but also the weird predicament of being out for so long is, um, Having to go to the bathroom, something I don't really think about <laughs> um, when you're at home. I don't really feel like we're going to public restrooms, so uh, I'm just gonna head on home. They put this number right there on the old windshield, because that's how they know which order to bring out. And they're gonna bring it on out. Get all of our food dreams have come true. So I've decided that I'm gonna come back another day, do this, uh, get out of the car, get, you know, get some shots, do a little more exploring from a distance, if you will. I have to plan ahead uh, going to the bathroom, I guess. I don't know, or just not be out for too long. I'm not really sure how that works. This is probably the longest I've been out of the house since quarantine. <laughs> so I'm, I got the food. Heading, heading home. Got some food for shenanigans as well. So I'm heading home. And I'm just gonna wrap it up for uh, this journey. All right, I only try to record when I'm at a stoplight, but um, no, I so said that's gonna conclude kind of the, the journey part of the vlogging. There's a few things I consumed with my own eyes as I drove by them, uh, but yeah, we're, I'll figure out something out for the future. But let's uh, let's head on home. Back home with some real dramatic music for the food reveal. Oh. <laughs> this is what I got. Uh, I thought there'd be some more stuff on here. 
But uh, either way, I'm always down for some sausage. Got some onion rings. How's your food over there? And a Caesar salad. I yep. I suggest you end it. Yes. Portillo's hot dogs. It's going on an epic journey. It's in my mouth. There have been a few uh, new living room developments, not not a lot, but we're we're chugging along, and I I I, <laughs> I expect some major progress to go down this weekend. I expect it. I hope for it, and it shall be done. But I want to show a few uh, slight developments. First off, I put up this this uh, piece of art that Shannon got me for uh, the holidays. I finally put it up. Uh, it's, of course, a, uh, a risque, uh, risque-er version of Jessica Rabbit than we're used to seeing. Quite lovely. And uh, I have a few other Jessica Rabbit pieces that I've gotten. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be a little Jessica Rabbit section right here. Pretty excited for that to come to be. So in our redecoration, process uh, one of the uh, initiatives I've pushed forth in this decoration process is uh, themed areas so themed pieces of art and we have lots of uh, merch toys knickknacks trying to get them all in the same area here is a little uh, nightmare for Christmas area there's more nightmare for Christmas stuff that is in this home but Shannon wanted them elsewhere. So here's a little, little, little piece of that. This is the beginning of uh, some kind of Disney villains area. Clearly that living dead doll is not a Disney villain, but that one's coming together. Seems like Scar should be up there. What's he doing down there? Here we got a little, little Star Wars action. We also got this puzzle. Not sure where we're gonna do a puzzle, but we'll figure it out. All right, I stopped off and stop anywhere. I left the house and then came back to uh, get a little little lunch. I haven't have not been really eating fast food, but there's when there's a new item at Taco Bell, I get I get excited about it. Um, and I saw that they had a uh, pineapple whip freeze. So I'm curious to see how this uh, fares or holds up. Obviously what comes to mind is the Dole Whip treat at the Disney parks. Let's see what's going on with this. Well, it's not quite Dole Whip, but I like it. It's kind of like orange cream, but it's pineapple cream. Which that's not what really what dough tastes like, but it's definitely refreshing as a as a pineapple fan. So there's my uh, there's my review of the pineapple freeze whip or whatever it's called <laughs> at Taco Bell. Just got a delivery in from Amazon, and we got the Birds of Prey Blu-ray came out this week. This is my favorite film of 2020 so far. I know there hasn't been a lot of releases, <laughs> but this is my favorite one so far. I love it very much. Very excited. And Shannon really likes the villain in that film. So I surprised her with this. Shannon got this in. for promotional use, <laughs> but it's the uh, 40th anniversary 4K Ultra Super Duper Awesome, totally awesome 3D cover, as you can sort of see, <laughs> of Jaws. 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 Jaws! There's shenanigans. Hi. I just realized you haven't been in the vlog all week. I know, because I said I don't want to be in the vlog. 
Is that why? Yeah. I don't think that's why. No, I've been busy. Why don't you want to be in the vlog? Because you keep getting me in trouble with my mom. No, I don't know if it's so much I'm getting you in trouble or if your actions are getting yourself in trouble. Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> we got a surprise today. Yay. He's Roman from Birds of Prey. The bad guy. Yeah, I told uh, everyone you got Jaws, too. Okay. And that it was this 3D. This is not Jaws, but... I sh right. um While you were gone, I showed him one of the puzzle. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Gremlins one? Yeah, the Gremlins one. How did you show it? What do you mean, how did I show oh, it? Oh, did you pick it up from over there? I don't mean while you're gone this second. I just oh. meant while you were gone earlier today. Oh. <laughs> I had a doctor's appointment. I wasn't gallivanting around. Yeah, man. Get, right. get anything else in fun that we could share before we leave this week's blog, vlog, slog? Uh, smoothies. Schmoovies. Schmoovies. No, not really. Schmoovies. All right, I need to go do stuff. Schmoovies. Love you. Bye. Bye. Schmoovies. Why are you recording a cat sighting? <laughs> Shan said you saw a cat come to here. The cat is... Now I'm missing. We need, we need your light. Uh, Where'd the kitty go? I don't know. God, it's like a fucking jungle back there. It's like a jungle sometimes. They, get, they wonder how it keeps them going. What under. are cats like? Oh, I think I see his little eyes. There. He can't, I see something illuminating. That's creepy. Hey, kitty. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, it's oh, up there. Eyes. I see it up there, yeah. Can't see if we can. Hey, there. kitty, kitty. Can't really get this on. Maybe. It's up there on the fence, just chilling. I knew I heard something. It wasn't just the weed. <laughs> well, I don't think I can pick up my camera. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> hey, kitty, you want a snack? No. Oh. Did not oh, he's going kids. away. All right, thanks for stopping by. Had making out birds. Yeah, we did. It's a real, it's a real jungle back behind our home. He was so cute. Cause I'm sitting here and I'm hearing rustling and I'm like, yo, there's something over there. <laughs> and so I got up off the chair, about ready to like run, and then I saw a little face oh. that I wanted to keep. No, he's on a journey. Uh, if he had come near me, his journey would have 